Avenger. <laughs> yogurt. <laughs> I hate yogurt. Smell of it. Oh, I love Red Bulls. I love, I, you know, like, and it's got to be the OG for me. The yeah. OG Red Bull has got to be the one for me. Yeah. Yes, they've got some fantastic ones out there that taste delicious. You got the coconut one, they've got the peach. Oh, that fuzzy peach, baby. It's all about their fuzzy peaches. Oh, man. My name's Evan Leroy, and I'm the pit master and co-owner at Leroy and Lewis Barbecue in Austin, Texas. Uh, I've been cooking barbecue a very long time, pretty much since I was a kid, kind of growing up in the backyard, but professionally since about 2011. It, you know, I grew up in Austin. It's pretty ubiquitous here. Um, I was interested in food growing up. I watched a lot of like Food Network, and there was just something that kind of called me back to barbecue uh, when I was working and living in New York City. And, so we cook a very different style of barbecue here. We don't cook, uh, you know, brisket, ribs uh, all the time. Uh, we don't serve like potato salad, mac and cheese. Uh, we cook what we call new school barbecue. So it's essentially focused on sourcing. We believe the best Texas barbecue is comes from animals raised in Texas. And so we bring in the best possible meat we can. I don't mean we just source prime briskets. I mean, we bring in the local stuff that's raised well from people that we know on a first name basis. And we cook it as well as we can. We try to just step outside the bounds of the traditional barbecue menu. Here is the burger, the L&L &L burger. Got to get a nice bite. Salt, pepper, garlic. Smoke. Freaking fantastic. We're trying the buffalo cauliflower. Not buffalo cauliflower, it's cauliflower burnt ends. Here we go. It's it good. is burnt. <laughs> I taste the burntness. Mmm. Good. It's a cauliflower dipped in some kind of sauce or something. But that. All that charcoal, I, I taste like charcoal, the, the, uh, the, the, char. the char, it just like breaks off into crumbling pieces and spreads all over your mouth and kind of falls down your throat with a little bit of, little bit of spice kick to it. Nothing, nothing too spicy. How about the sauce? Oh, that sauce is dynamite. Is it? I don't know what the heck that is, but. Looks I like love a. It's like a, like a honey mustard. Yeah, it's like a tangy, Almost. a tangy honey mustard barbecue sauce. That's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, it's got a nice little, nice kick to it too. This is a beef cheek. This is what they're known for. L and L, beef cheek. Salud. It's like butter. You got to be kidding me. Salt and pepper and butter. Like meat flavored butter this is what this is this is amazing i'm gonna go in for a dip right here that's that beet that beet sauce it's oh, really good beet barbecue sauce is it more of a hip-hop or r&b beet Oh, 
Yogurt. Yogurt. I hate yogurt. Especially with strawberries. There's only one man who would dare to give me the raspberry. Lone Star. <laughs> so we just left the cosmic uh, food truck park, park and we got to try out, what is it called? Uh, Leroy and Lewis BBQ. Leroy and Lewis BBQ. And let's talk about our afterthoughts. Well, what's <laughs> our uh, afterthoughts? Well, afterthoughts. I mean, I think it, I think it's a pretty nice looking park. The park is situated in a nice, safe, uh, shady area. The vibe was very chill. The, the only one food trailer that had a line happened to be the one that we went to go and try. Uh, so, unfortunately, they don't open till eleven. We got there about ten, and we waited in line for over an hour. What do you think? Yeah, so we were in line for at least 40 minutes just for them to open. And once they open, then we had to wait another 40, 40, yeah. 45 minutes for sure, I'd say. But I agree. I thought it was a really cool, clean park. Yeah, nice and clean. Uh, nice and clean. People were real chill. Obviously, a younger, hip crowd. And awesome. when, when uh, Evan said that it wasn't your traditional Texas barbecue, he wasn't kidding. Yeah. I've never had barbecue like that. that and we, uh, we did meet Evan. He, nice, total, total nice guy. He's one of the best cats out there. That, that I mean, he very chill, very very friendly. Um, yeah, he's going around the in the line when everybody's waiting around, just saying hi to everybody individually. Super cool, and that, that's what it's all about. Whenever <laughs> when, you, when you see stuff like that, it makes you want to go support them. So we recommend going out to South Austin to uh, the Cosmic uh, Food Truck uh, Park yeah. and and visit Leroy and. Uh, Leroy and Lewis. Leroy uh, and Lewis. Lewis. I can't. I don't know why I can't get it right. No. Um, but yeah, they, they did a great job there. So that was really cool. So where are we headed now? Uh, we, where we are going to be going to game over uh, is where we're going. We're going to come over here. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that I can find a Nintendo Super Super Nintendo system at a at a decent price. Yep. Um, I know that. I'm probably not going to find one for a decent price, but that's kind of what I'm looking for. But we'll see. Never know. We'll see. We'll see what we walk away with today. So, let's go. And now you know that. <laughs> and I'm searching for my tide to bring back home Smile on your face I've been there before It's the same old thing Running through that door Cause I'm lost And you can't seem to find try so hard maybe it's not the reason I try just the things that always seem to help get me by a smile on your face not been there before it's the same old thing running through that door
Just left their final destination for the road trip today. Uh, a classic video game store called Game Over. And we got some great footage in there. The dude was really super chill and really nice. It's all, all kinds of cool stuff. They got a museum in there, everybody. You gotta go check this place out. They got every gaming system ever made. And all the accessories, everything from, you know, uh, the, the power glove to the power pad, uh, Virtual Boy, you know, all that kind of stuff. Rob the Robot. Rob the Robot was in there on display to go look in person. Well, the fun to my NES uh, action pack that for my background in my office, uh, I acquired the original combo Super Mario Brothers then Duck Hunt NES cartridge. There it is. Right there. Right there. Yeah. 1985 people in Japan. Made from, from Japan. From Japan. It can also be a pin food. Yeah. Yeah. And he ready. We're ready. Ready, ready player one. Ready player one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I picked up a, a spare uh, PlayStation 3 controller because the little rubber no, uh, the, the little rubber nubbies off of my old PlayStation controllers are now missing. And I want to hook my PlayStation 3 back up in the garage. Uh, so yeah, that's what I comped right there. Uh, the OG dual. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Awesome little store. Um, I think next time we, we might hit that Lamar location. Just to kind of see what, what, what it's like compared to this one. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know? I like that idea. Yeah. Let's do that. Do that. Well, we want to thank you all very much for joining us on our adventure today. Sponsored by Red Bull. Is that what you <laughs> I'm up. I, I, I like it for the smell of it. I love Red Bulls too, buddy. Make sure you guys uh, like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. And this has been your real life perspective. You got that right, Batman. Yeah, yeah let's go. And I'm done losing sleep over these Hollywood dreams.